Hey guys, this is Brian Collada from Train by Tex. I was asked to um, make a brief demo here about a uh, feature that's within PicoScope software that uh, allows you to count teeth within a waveform. If you look at this uh, capture we have here, we have a crank sensor and we have two cam sensors, intake exhaust and then an ignition sink on channel D. If you look at your crank sensor pattern right here, it is a very high resolution sensor, meaning there are many, many, many teeth within this pattern. And it kind of gets you know blurry if you're if you're looking at especially at this time scale. Now if I zoom in on 360 degrees of crankshaft rotation even still at this zoomed in rate it's still difficult to count these teeth if I was to do this by hand it would take me a long time and it would be quite difficult and I, I would you know possibly become somewhat cross-eyed trying to make this count so within Pico there is a measurement section right here and if you click add measurement you'll pull up this window and then you can choose which channel that you want to measure and in, in my case it's going to be channel A and then you're going to choose the type of measurement that you want to choose within this window there are many options that you can choose from and you can play around with them at your leisure but I'm going to choose the falling edge count and then I'm going to choose which, which section of your waveform is going to be measured. Do I want to choose the entire trace or do I want to choose between rulers? In this case I'm going to choose between rulers because I want to know specifically how many teeth are between my rulers which I'm going to put at 360 degrees of crankshaft rotation. Okay, and I'm you're going to click OK and then you pull up your rulers and then you're going to want to put them in equal identical sections on the waveform. You want to put one there and then you're going to want to put another right there and where that same pattern happens again and that simply represents 360 degrees of crankshaft rotation. And if you look right here in the bottom left corner here where, where my mouse pointer is, it shows that there is 58 teeth between my rulers. There are 58 falling edges between my rulers. And then you have to remember that in this little window right here there are two missing teeth. So that means there is a 60 tooth sprocket minus two teeth representing 58 falling edges, 58 teeth that you can see on this pattern and if you use a calculator you can take that measurement or that take that count that you have and divide it by 360 degrees and you are left with six. Six represents the amount of crankshaft degrees per tooth so every time one of these tooth passes by six degrees of crankshaft rotation has happened and that is very helpful when you're trying to determine if you have a cam correlation type problem you're, you're, you're able to narrow it down to how many degrees that each one of these tooth teeth represents again there are also other measure other types of measurement that you can do in here I'm not going to go into all that. You know, there's frequency, there's there's rising edge, which is the opposite of what I chose. You know, it just depends on what you want to do. And I encourage all of you to use these, try them, experience with them, and let me know what you find. And uh, we all can grow as one. Uh, thank you for watching.